everyone. Have you ever had the problem of trying to find the right fly tying light to use while you're traveling? Well, Katie and I did, and we could never find the right light to use that wasn't too big, too awkward, but yet provided enough light to use while we're on the road. Well, a couple years ago, we ran into a good friend of ours, Tim Flagler, and he suggested this small rig selections light. So we picked up one and we've been using it for, for a couple years. And this is the number one question we get when we're out traveling is what kind of light is that? So every time we post a picture of our fly tying setup on the road, people are always asking what kind of light we're using. So we figured we'd do a quick video of this so we can show you exactly what we do when we're out on the road. All right, so let's go over some of the features. The number one thing was portability and how bright this was. So about portability, as you can see, it's very small. And I have my fly tying bag here that we take with us on the road. And you can see this pouch. Just put it in there and zip it up and you're ready to go. No problem at all. We've taken this through airport security. We've taken this in the car, we've taken this everywhere. No problem. Sometimes in airport security, they do make us pull this out and they'll look at it because they're not sure what it is. But <clears throat> we've never had a problem getting it through as a, as a carry-on bag. All right, now let's go over how the light works and how some of the buttons as on it. So what you do is you pull it open like this. You see it kind of, it's got a telescopic arm here, it comes up. Let's look at some of these buttons right here. You got the on off button, you have the power intensity buttons here, and you have uh, the different colors or different temperatures of the lights here. So you see we just turn it on. These four dots here are your battery life. Now, I believe on the website they say you get about three hours of battery. I would say if it's fully charged, you get an hour to two hours worth of battery at full power. And right here is the charging port, USB-C uh, to, to charge it with, and it comes with the, the power cable here. I believe we had to use our own little uh, our own brick to, uh, to use it. I'm not sure if it came with a brick or not but you're all set up to charge it or to use it, use it wirelessly. So as far as flexibility, the neck can be moved, can be bent over this way, around. You can spin the, the light this way, so you can really set it up however it best meets your needs as you're tying, which is really, which is really nice. And it can be higher or lower depending on, um, depending on how you want it set up. And to put it back down, you just push it all the way down. We'll turn the power off and we'll close it and you're ready to go. So let's talk about cost. Right now, Small Rig is running a special to where they're 50% off. So you can get this light for $29.95. Katie's going to put a link in the description. But if you want, you can look on Amazon, Small Rig site, Google it. Um, but this is a great value for this light. We've spent hundreds of dollars on lights to, to travel with, and this is the one we've, we've landed on, and we'd highly recommend checking it out. So, Katie and I really like this light to travel with because of the portability. It's very flexible in how you can set it up because you can run it plugged in or it can be wireless, and the cost is spot on. So, if you're looking for a good light to travel with, check out this small rig light. And... Katie and I are live every Wednesday night for a tying show called Whip Finish Wednesday. We'd love to see you hop on. See you then. Bye-bye.